by Jerry Kearns titled well right here at the uh, front end of the gallery they've got a couple of his wall murals and uh, this one is called Scree and it's 36 by 418 inches. There's another one of his wall murals. It's titled kind of Luke. Well, uh, I've been looking at the work of Jerry for probably about 30 some odd years and uh, this piece is titled Hey Cowboy. I am kind of uh, have mixed feelings about it in a certain way. It's very much uh, kind of standard, almost uh, formulaic pop art. And uh, his use of these kind of texts and uh, this kind of hard edged black and white uh, modeling is very much related to Lichtenstein. I think the, uh, the area where he kind of changes is that uh, he also puts in some uh, parts of the paintings like his face of Christ that uh, has a little different uh, quality. This is titled Clint. Daydreamer. Now, here's a good chance for you to see kind of the uh, the contrast between the bold kind of cartoon graphics. Oh, I think that's got photo prints in there, pigment print. Uh, head of a snake. Take a uh, sweep over the back gallery. This is titled Charon. Well, <laughs> It looks like most of these uh, paintings all are dealing with his character of the, the cowboy Christ. And uh, in the press release, they talk about his uh, upbringing, I guess, out in the West, maybe New Mexico. And uh, a lot of his imagery is based on his uh, experience reading cartoons and newspapers 
and contrasting that with the uh, fire and brimstone that his preacher threatened him with. Oh gee, we've got the uh, the grave digger from uh, late 50s, early 60s creepy magazine. Well, Jerry's a very good technician. So he kind of uh, combined his Jesus the Savior with uh, the good sheriff. It's titled Bam Bam. Oh, and I do like his text. And uh, he did a whole series of works. I guess this has been a while back. I was dealing with. Uh, very detailed and uh, tightly rendered images of wildlife. So I guess this might be the title piece of the show. This is Ag. <laughs> well, it's like he's almost got an index of uh, various signs and symbols so we've got the the soft core horn legs and high stockings uh geez, we've got this character he looks like something out of a batman movie and this gun looks like something out of a star wars and this hand is uh it's like a cowboy western And the damsel in distress is the 1950s soap opera mag. And the, this cat, I don't know. Looks like a 1930s bank robber. Well, the work that I originally saw him and that I think that got him a lot of attention was some work that he was doing dealing with politics in the 80s. And uh, I know it at one point that he and Lucy Lepard came by my studio for a visit. They were curating a show for the, uh, oh, was it? The Rotunda Gallery in Brooklyn. And uh, it's nice, some of the sea actually gets a quality that's almost like a silk screen. Anyway, he was dealing with political subject matters, the wars in Central America, Ronald Reagan, and uh, oh, I like the, uh, the light blue silhouette of the woman's face in there, that's nice. And I think he's also a pretty, pretty good designer just as far as his graphic uh, layouts and uh, his use of contrast and text go. It's titled Tweet. And uh, I guess in a certain way there's also almost some surrealism thrown in there. Get a, take a look at some of his rendering. I think there's a lot of this was pencil drawing under the acrylic. This is 72 by 92. And uh, most of these paintings are about that size, except that one's even bigger, so that's probably about 7 by 10. So we're taking a look at Jerry Kern's Erg here at Mike Weiss Gallery in Chelsea. 
Thank you, Kate. Thank you 